Stacy, you've been on this ride, haven't you? Yes, I have. What does it feel like? Well, it's really neat because when you, you kind of go in an arc, hmm. and then when you get to the top of the arc, you're you're pulled off a little bit off your seat, and you well, I guess you raise about raise about an inch off your seat. You feel lighter. Yes. Yeah. And then when you go hit on, on the bottom of the arc, it feels like everything's being pulled down. And if you opened your mouth, it felt like your face would be pulled down also. Well, now you know what it feels like to be a fighter pilot or an astronaut at the time of liftoff. The, the, the G forces, you know what that stands for? G? Gravity. Yeah, gravity. At the, at when, when they lift off, there's more, more force than just the force of gravity. And they can be two or three times gravity. So that's 2G or 3G. Mm -hmm. And that's when your face feels real oh, heavy. Yeah. Then when they do an outside loop or when they're floating around when there's no gravity, then you feel very light. Yes. And it might be a 0.5 gravity. Now, I've got to talk to the um, guy who runs the ride here and he's going to give you a ride all by yourself. You're going oh, to do the whole all thing. by myself. But you have to do a scientific experiment that has to do with his weight. Okay. okay. Normally, it's going to be like that. Mm -hmm. What's pulling down on the... Gravity. 1G. Right. Okay. Now, as you go in the ride, and you go up like this, and where you feel light, it's what's going to happen to the, the weight of the plumb valve, in effect? It's going gonna, it's gonna to be lighter, so it's going to go up. Yeah, it feels like it anyway. Yeah. Okay. Now, what happens when you get to the bottom? It's going to go down, because it feels heavier. Right. Now, actually, we, if we wanted to be very scientific about it, we could mark it off in so many Gs. Yes. But I've got just a sort of general, see that tube back right there? Uh-huh. Well, here's one of these weights like that, and notice the black mark? Yes. That's right at the point. I want you to get on the ride, keep track of what happens to that plumb bob, and let me know when you're all finished. Okay. okay. All right. Come on out, tell me what happened. Well, as we were starting... Here's the, here's the plumb bob. Okay. What happened? As we started going, it wasn't moving very much up. Yes. But as we, we started going, it started moving a little bit yeah. more. And then when we got faster, it pulled down more on this. Yes. And then at one point, the elastic bent a little bit. Not little very bit. much. Well, yeah. at the top. Yeah. When it was up here. Yes. But it, did it ever hit the bottom? Oh, it hit the bottom, yes, a couple yeah. times. And, it, and then it went up like this. Now, if this, uh, this also has an effect on your body, did you feel uh, at, at when the weight went down? It, it, well, it felt like my whole body was being right. pushed down. Okay, so now you've had, you know something about what scientists go through when they investigate G-forces. Thank you for the scientific experiment. Oh, you're welcome. That was fun.